war on masculinity what is going on let's get into it okay, so boom to me there's like a difference between like what masculinity is versus what a you could say a good man or a not so great man things like that and that's all preference but in my opinion a masculine man number one just has like that he has a baseline of confidence you just know like he is confident this is my definition okay it's my opinion so he he just exudes confidence and there's this like aura that really masculine dynamic men just kind of ooze you know like when they walk past they're not like just looking down on the phone walking straight somewhere like when they enter a place they're they might be on the phone looking up or looking around scoping the scene seeing what's going on but like they're not walking around the restaurant like this you know and because you can do that when you sit down it just it's just like a thing like those are things that I just look at and I'm like okay and maybe that's just what is attractive to me and so I'm projecting on what that's considered masculinity so this could like I said this is my opinion uh, people was in the comments on, on my brother panic video talking about oh you 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 can't stay on topic because you're such a child well of course okay because i'm living my best life you feel me so anyway um this is my video and i'm gonna do what i want to do and if you don't like it you can keep commenting though because algorithms algorithm but if you don't like it that's your problem go somewhere else i don't care and it's who i am but anyway so to me like that screams like masculine like i can't and like I said, masculine man to me or whatever is just a confident male that projects these for specific qualities. And they just happen to be like, like when he walks in, you just, you feel his energy and like other people will sit up straighter just because he walked past. Like that would be like, okay, okay. So confident. Then I would say like someone who makes decisions. Like you already know, if you're gonna go out with this this guy, he he's gonna have the plan. He's gonna tell you where to park. He's gonna um, do certain things. Now, if he's a masculine romantic, then he's gonna also have you flowers. Or if he's a player, <laughs> there's that too. Then he's gonna like he's got there's additional things. But like a baseline to me, masculine man will. This is where we're going. This is where you can park. And like, this is the type, you know, I, this is what, this is what it is. This is what's happening today. And when the bill comes, he just whoop, and you just look around and just keep it moving. Like there's no question of what's going to happen. He just, he's already lays it out. That's to me masculine. Also like, He's solution oriented. Like, I don't want to hear about your complaining. I don't want to hear about how horrible your life is because to me, that means that you are in a victim mindset and I don't even do that to myself. I'm not, I'm not spending all my day complaining about what's going on. I'm thinking, okay, this thing happened, but like, how am I, what am I going to do next so that I can move forward from this thing? Like, I don't wallow in issues and I don't live in those issues all day, talking about it all day long. Like I might say what occurred one time and then, okay, boom, onto the next thing. So I don't mind like a certain level of sharing what's going on in your life. I think that that's healthy and that's a self-regulated masculine man. We're talking about baseline masculinity here. But, you know, after like one conversation about it, I don't wanna keep hearing about it. Like, okay, are you talking about it just to hear yourself talk and to complain or are you talking about it because you are talking out a solution and how you're going to solve it because i also do that so i'm not going to sit and listen to you anyone it doesn't matter if it's a, a man a woman uh someone who's whatever else is going on you know i i love everybody period but it doesn't i don't care what gender you are if you sit up in my face complaining non-stop i'm gonna distance myself regardless so i definitely am not gonna deal with a man that's doing that and if i'm not gonna deal with myself i'm not gonna deal with a friend doing it. i don't care who it is if all you do is sit around and complain all day about how horrible your life is and what what a you know victim you are i'm not gonna you just i can't be around it this is what it is so that's something i would also say 
Hmm, I didn't write anything down. Let me get some tea. <laughs> Ooh, it's still hot. Let me wait. Um, what else would I say masculine? A masculine man to me. And now I'm just going to go into like, like not toxic masculinity because that can potentially be another video. But this is just like baseline what I think masculine is in a positive way, in a positive. Um, also being able to apologize and admit when you're wrong and then not do it again. Because there's a way that uh, people apologize like across the board that lets me know, okay, this is where the mindset is. Because if you are someone in general and you apologize, but it's like you are seeking sympathy for what you did when you messed up and just like, well, sympathize with me because I am still the one who, you know, I'm apologizing to you, but like hear what, hear where I was coming from. And that to some level is okay, but like there's a, a like a, a level to it when it becomes excessive and then it becomes, well, excuse my behavior because I was still a victim here. Like, no, if you're apologizing to me for something that you did, I expect you to take responsibility for your actions and then explain how it happened, how you got to where you decided to land and then what you would do differently next time and acknowledge the fact, acknowledge my feelings. And I do that to other people as well. So there's a certain level of ownership and accountability that positive masculine men have. And that's just people across the board. Like I said, like to me, a masculine, a positively masculine man is a man that I can respect across the board. Like he's doing everything in his power to X, Y, and Z. Because there are, you know, situations where different people start in different places based on their, where they grew up and what happened. But if you're doing everything in your power to improve your life, then that's someone I can respect. And I might not agree with the decision because I don't, I don't have to agree with your decision. But if I can respect it, fine, whatever. I, I, I'll support you. So that is what a masculine, a positive masculine man is. I'll think of like a few more things because I haven't recorded in a while and I'm having a good time. So let's see, um, a positive masculine man, oh, oh, knows how to apply the right amount of pressure in different situations. For example, if he or she or whoever is always being triggered and always bothered by something else, like they're all, they're so easy to trigger, you can't, tell them your authentic truths without them getting mad at you it's like because because if you know who you are when other people question it you are still gonna be like what the but you're not going to have a ravenous reaction or if something small happens like a child spills um juice on the floor you know that's easily mopped and you spaz out, to me, that's, ugh, I don't know what's going on there, but that's a red flag, that's a red flag. So how they treat waiters, how, oh, another thing I, I point out is like, how if some, if, they're, if you're with someone and you start speaking or talking, like how they respond in social interactions also determines to me if they're a masculine man or not, because things happen. You know, but like if you overreact to things, I'm like, Ugh. and like I said, this for me is just a standard of how I think everyone should be. But as a man, I just, you know, these are like the basic standard expectations to me that would make you a positive masculine man. And that would be someone that you just do these things you know and you're just a well-rounded human being period like you don't fly off the handle because the water was not 
than have five ice cubes in it you know like what the like be drink that water and shut up or send it back but don't cause a scene in public i don't like that don't cause a scene anywhere don't raise your voice at me or to other people like unless it's required but like yelling at every single situation and every time you're frustrated you explode or you get mad to me is not signs of a healthily functioning masculine man or a healthily functioning feminine woman a healthy healthily functioning human being period you know if you have to be able to regulate your emotions and regulate your temperament and when you do yell, it means something. It's not that you just, you can't control yourself. So you're out here just yelling at everybody. But like when you do yell, people listen because it's so rare to see you act this way. So it must be serious. So like, I'm not saying not to raise your voice because sometimes, sometimes it's necessary, not all the time because if you if you already exude a certain level of don't f with me isness you won't even have to get to that point because personally i've been in some situations where the other person was raising their voice and i just made it very clear this is not what this is not what we're about to do and that person calmed down and i may have may not have to you know get a little swivel in my neck or like you know an energy change to let this person know this is not what we're this is not what's about to happen here i don't care who you are this is not what's what we're doing then then people don't even do that and you don't even you have less of those of need to have those mm, and yelling and stuff because people already know you're not going to get a rise out of me and i might embarrass you in a not embarrass you but you know what i'm saying you're not gonna just step up to me and think that you're gonna intimidate me or do whatever like i'm crazy too so it's like that type of energy that he just has like he's able to regulate but also doesn't have to just argue with everybody about stupid stuff because i don't even do that so what are you doing <laughs> so that's that and like I said like most of the things I'm saying I think just apply to just common decency um but in terms of like men specifically as well it's like when there's a bunch of dudes that you don't know how do you behave that lets me know also like what's happening here if um there's if we're in a group or together or whatever is going on and there is a homeless person on the side of the road what do you do and though like in those situations that's when you can really tell what type of man you're with what type of woman you're with what type of friend you're with what type of human you're with you get you in those things like i'm not even saying it's like a bad thing that could happen like that homeless person might not even be paying you no mind but they're there you know and so what does this person that you are around how do they behave at that point you know can you go out with them without feeling like you're gonna have to fight somebody because what if they someone steps on their shoe in a busy place also like what does this person do in their free time you know because like so yeah i could go on, on and on and on but that's just what i wanted to say i thought overall though i thought that that video was so great i think you should definitely watch it i think they all made points there was this one person though i'm not gonna say who because i'm really not trying to be a bully or you know call anyone out um but there was this one person in that video that was just getting on my nerves like every time this person spoke i was like do you just have to be a contrarian like you just you just so upset like oh it was oh my gosh it was so annoying but overall i thought it was a great video you should watch it and yeah that was my interpretation of that's like a baseline but like that was my interpretation of what i think a positive healthy masculine man is he's confident he's self-aware he's self-regulating he's resilient he continues after his goal he's he's a predator he's hunting he's always 
improving himself, sacrificing, self-sacrifice because it take you can't do certain things and do certain things. He's a go-getter. He's ambitious, disciplined, able if he keeps his word. He trusts his instincts. He makes decisions. He he says what it is even if others don't agree with it and he stands on it. He's willing to hear other thoughts but does what he feels is right at the end of the day point blank period and and if it doesn't work he'll own up to it and move forward he doesn't he's not a complainer he's not a whiner he's not just you know he's not super super promiscuous he he values his his body okay <laughs> he values himself as a, as a man and as a human as a character he, he he values who he is and so he isn't just spreading his stuff to everything and everywhere I also feel that way you know he knows who he is and he values who he is as a being and he doesn't give up what the next door person has to say he establishes boundaries you know if someone's stepping over the line he doesn't let the habitual line steppers continue you step over that line once I'm gonna let you know what you did okay and not in a oh blah, 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 way, but like, all right, <laughs> don't get too familiar here. Don't get too comfortable. I don't know you like that, you know? And then if it continues and persists, he stops it. This is what it is. This is, this is what it is, you know? And if you don't like it, back up. You know, he's a protector. He looks like he can fight. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting it out there, like. He looks like you come over here if you want to. He just has that energy. Like pick an easier target. Like if you wanna, if you're one of those people who are out here just causing chaos and nonsense, he, you're just gonna you're gonna skip past him because he just seems like it would be too much of a problem. It wouldn't be an easy strike. You you'd be upset down the line. He's not vengeful. Not on that revenge stuff like, oh, you did this to me, so I'm going to do this to you. He's like, I'm going to do what I want to do, period. And, you know, note it. If you decided to move differently, okay, note it. But I'm going to keep moving. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That got, that's between you and yourself. You have to sleep at night, so whatever. Not a tip for tap person. Well, you know, I I, I did this, so now what you going to do for me? Like, like, come on. Have some decorum, okay? Have social decorum. Doesn't chew with his mouth open. Oh my gosh, that's just a personal thing. Okay. That's just a personal thing. I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> There's my leg all like that. If you like wonder why I look here, it's because my camera's facing this way and I like to look at myself. So that's why like this is the camera and this is sometimes where you'll see me look and it's just, I've always been that way. I just, if there's a mirror, I'm gonna look at the mirror. Anyway, um, so yeah. Oh, oh, also like he has, he's in healthy competition. Like not comparing, oh, this person has this and I don't have it like whining, like, oh wait, such and such did this, oh, boom, let me, let me do what I need to do. Like doesn't, doesn't feel the need to put one for the Joneses either because like if he doesn't want to do something, he doesn't do it. But like if he wants to do it, he gets it done, but not in a way that would hurt the, like the, the, the family or the dynamic or hurt himself. Like financially secure in himself, you know, and aware and is not, like, okay, because the neighbor got a movie theater in the basement, now I'm going to get movie theater in the basement and I can't afford it. So instead of pay getting my house payment and paid off and, you know, doing what I'm supposed to do over here, I'm going to negate those plans or I'm not going to invest in whatever I was going to invest in. Now I'm going to change my plans and I'm going to get a movie theater because such and such got a movie theater. So under can, can have delayed gratification that isn't afraid of putting in some hard work and elbow grease hands is not softer than mine okay i don't want to i don't want a golden retriever i don't want a, a siren cat whatever that thing is on tiktok i want a grizzly bear okay i want a pit bull i want a rottweiler <laughs> you want to say i should want a big dog <laughs> but like temperament wise like because like a pit bull if if you were gonna go steal a pet right would you steal the little chihuahua the adult chihuahua or would you steal the, the adult pit bull you're not just gonna walk off on a pit bull you don't know so like that type of thing but not like scary you know what i'm saying 
because pit bulls are also like nanny dogs like they're such great dogs so like also isn't afraid to show um affection and not feeling like oh well you know i'm soft or i'm a whatever because there are there's like this thing like with some dudes and it's like if you take care of your business if you're a good father if you're a good man to the person that you're with if you're loyal you're not singing your dangling all over the streets of east west and south and north if you're not you know doing all this stuff all the time or like you you take your lady out on dates that don't just include going to dinner okay like how many times are you gonna go to dinner do something cool you know go to the go to the arboretum or something you know like go to the museum that do an activity you know go to the golf range you know do something like we don't we don't always just want to go to dinner okay what you trying to make me fat <laughs> Okay, let's go to the gym. Let's work out. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what are we doing? Are we always going to eat? <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> but no, like, I'm serious though. Like, isn't afraid to do those things and doesn't feel like, oh, I'm less of a man if I do X, Y, and Z. Like, is secure in his masculine and is secure in himself as a man. So he just does what he wants to do regardless and is not trying to impose his will on other people like this is what i'm doing and like if you rocking with it we roll one but if not that's fine too do what you want to do i'll be over here doing what i'm doing because that's how i am so that's what i expect <laughs> i guess this turned out like my own personal like if i had if i could build a bear <laughs> you know as i said i'm a grizzly bear if i can build a bear that's what it would look like mm-hmm I guess I just told him myself. But yeah, that's to me, that's what a positive masculine man is. Let me think, did I miss anything? Because we're already here for 20, we're here for like 22 minutes anyway. I might as well keep going, right? If you stayed this long, you, you, you're you um, part of my club. Let's see. Um, yeah, just like I said, self-regulating, secure, confident, on time. Okay, because to be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is unacceptable. So, like, does what he says he's going to do is on time early at best, not late to stuff. I, oh, granted, unless it's a party. Like, if it, you know what I'm saying. Like, if it's something small, like it's like a gathering, a party or something, whatever, do what you want to do. But you can't be late to, to, to your business. You can't be late to business meetings. You can't be late to opportunities. You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's it. I'm done.